welcome back to the channel. So today we're at the coast. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and let's get exploring. This week we are in St. Vast La Hoc, which is just down the coast from Cherbourg. There is loads to see here. There is fortifications from the 17th century and there is a huge marina that we're going to try and find, but I think it's a bit further into town. So stay tuned and we'll take you on the journey. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Okay, so we've just got about halfway around on this circular walk So we figured it was a good time to give you a little bit of information about the place <laughs> I say we, Jess So the town that we're in, we're just outside of the town But the town has been subject to loads of battles over its history And its first records were from the year 1001 most notably the battle in 1692 between the Anglo-Dutch and the French saw 12 French ships sunk just off the coast on the other side of the island. And as a result of that, these fortifications were built. Yeah. It's quite interesting. We've taken as many photographs as we can. Um, we're not sure if we can get inside or not. So um, Instagram account, <laughs> check out our photos. You um, can't, sorry, sorry, you can't get inside this time of year. They run private tours, but they start in April, so we're a little bit early. But it leaves loads to see. We've still yeah. got the rest of the walk to do in town yeah. and everything else, so let's keep exploring. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty, with the wind blowing in your hair. so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday so this walk around here is quite fascinating um, it seems that the, the walkway becomes the wall it's yeah, a breakwater yeah. yeah it's still breakwater um, so definitely come on this walk it's good fun but sturdy shoes and I think if you don't like heights or drops I wouldn't recommend it. It's what, three metres each side? Yeah, it's only about three, nine, four metres. Nine, ten feet. But it is um, it's rock, rock at the bottom. So it is a bit, and the, the ground is, so obviously it's old cobble, so it's not that sturdy. But it's quite a fascinating place to come. I mean, you can see the views. I can stop it. Um, you see behind us, it's, it's incredible. Incredible place. And I bet even at high tide and stuff, it's quite amazing to come here and see the waves crashing up onto here. And we can see the other island as well that has the fort. Yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna go around to the other, there's another point further around yeah. that we can maybe get some video of it. We can't get across because it's, uh, the tide's in, but yeah, there's normally a, a, one of those vehicles that. Amphibious car. That's the fella. <laughs> so we'll keep exploring. So the, 
I said that there was a big battle here. It was part of the Nine Years' War, which was also known as the English War of Succession. And you can see it behind us, one of the towers that was built in 1694. It was designed, the architect that designed it was one of Vauban's students. And if you haven't heard of Vauban, he was a French military architect. engineer. <laughs> considered one of the best who worked under Louis XIV. So these two towers are quite famous in this part of France. Okay. Time for some lunch. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low, now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. Understand that we get one chance, one chance You, you will never regret the things that we'll do Cause I, I, I wanna drive through the summer night And when we, we, we are old and gray We'll look back at this, the summer night So as you can see we've We've walked about a mile. We've come to this breakwater here. You can see the island behind us there with the other the other <laughs> town. So just before we go on to the marina, Jess is fact time. So the harbour was enclosed by the breakwater in the 1800s and the jetty built in the 1820s. And the only thing I can think is I look really, really dishevelled. <laughs> I look really windswept. You just need a haircut. I need a haircut. Marina time. Yes. at the marina and there was a lock built here in 1982 to stop the marina draining from water during low tide it's quite a big marina for the area holds 100 704 boats and 100 visitor moorings just got around to this side of the marina just sort of looping back around again and just look at the oyster farms they're absolutely incredible so many all the way around as far as the eye can see it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and the beach that's just on the end here is a blue flag beach so we'll pin it in our um, description about where it is um, so you can aim for here and we'll put it on the blog as well in 2008, the, these two fortifications, the other ones over that way, were added to the UNESCO World Heritage Site as part of the fabrications of Vauban. I can't remember the name of this island, so I'll pop it here for you. Okay, so as you saw, we've had a little walk around the harbour. Um, so now we're gonna head back to the car. Um, you can see it just over my shoulder, right the way over there. <laughs> there. So, <laughs> but before we do, I think we've got one more fact about the marina or the harbour more. The harbour. So in 1944, the harbour here at St. Vast Le Hoc was the first harbour to be liberated by the Allied forces after World War II. I found that quite amazing. Yeah. Because it's not very well known. 
I mean, I've never heard of it here. No, I haven't. And it's quite a small place. We haven't actually been into the town, but it looks quite small. But it is Sunday, so a lot of places are shut today. Yeah. So, um, so we're going to start heading back to the car now. Got about a mile walk. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, so we're probably going to leave our vlog there for today. We've just got back to the car. We have walked just under four miles. Just under four miles. So it's a lovely walk. Really beautiful day. Um, highly recommend coming here. Again, I'll put the name of the place up along the bottom. Um, check out our description because there is a link to a blog. Gonna go in there if it's not already in there. <laughs> um, giving you a little bit more detail about the area and what's here and all that sort of thing. Um, check out our Instagrams along the bottom. All our photos go up on there. Give us a follow. Um, as usual, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really, really does help. Give us a thumbs up and ring the little bell. And we will see you at next Friday's video when we still don't know where we're going to be. No, not sure. But we'll see you there. Bye. <laughs> Bye.